Hi everyone, on uh, this video we will explain the what are the transient and transmission line. So generally whatever is discussed in the transmission line, we will uh, talk about the steady state case. That means as the wave is propagating from source to load, there won't be any change when the time changes. Right? That we will, uh, we, whatever we discussed so far. Now the concept of transient is uh, based on this, uh, there is a question in gate 2015. And what is mean by transient? Transient means as the wave is propagating from source to load, it will change so as time changes. So generally, the wave will be the function of time and the space. Okay, whenever it propagating from source to load, uh, the amplitude of the uh, wave will changes with respect to the time. That we will see how it will changes and what is the concept of the transient in the transmission. Right, the basic is whenever the wave is propagating from source to load. Uh, the amplitude of the wave will be changes with respect to the time. Now, <clears throat> the, I written here for the transient on the transmission line. If the source is generating a pulse of width delta t, that means generally the tra transient will be occurs due to when the source is generating the pulses, right? So generally we talk about uh, sinusoidal signal is propagating from source to load, right? Generally whatever we discuss. Now. <clears throat> what here is telling is if the source is generating a pulse of width delta t then the transient ensues on the transmission line right so whenever the source is generating the pulse of small width delta t then we will come across the transient now <clears throat> consider the transmission line of length d connecting a source at one end and a load at the other end then i am taking on transmission line this is the transmission line fine and this is the source part and this is the load part okay in the source part we have the source source voltage and the source will have the impedance zs is the source impedance and this is the switch when t equal to uh, the switch will be closed when t equal to zero okay now <clears throat> at this point right this is the input of the transmission line right this is input of the transmission line now at this point the equivalent circuit of the uh, source and transmission line will be like this at the equivalent circuit at source end it contains source and source impedance and at this point if you see the impedance will be characteristic impedance right generally the z0 is the characteristic impedance which appears at uh, at each point on the transmission line generally z0 is the uh, defense at each point on the transmission line so if you see at this point the equivalent circuit will be like this source load uh, source voltage source impedance and characteristic impedance on the line now this is given vs zs z0 zl <coughs> now in the above diagram uh, given that the switch is closed at t equal to 0 and then the pulse is generator pulse generates and transients occurs on the transmission line so when the switch is closed right when the switch is closed there is a path to generate the pulse and when the pulse is going on it occurs the transients now <coughs> Here the pulse will be can be of two types. The pulse width can be narrow pulse or, or long width pulse. The meaning of narrow pulse and long, uh, broad width, uh, broad pulse is nothing but see. <coughs> I am defining here the pulse can be narrow pulse or long pulse. That is, if the pulse width delta t much much less than T p, where T p is nothing but propagation time of the source uh, of the wave from source to generated that is defined as let <coughs> d is the length of the line okay vp is the phase velocity of the wave so it's like distance by velocity time is nothing but distance by velocity so tp propagation time is nothing but distance by uh, propagation time the no, propagation velocity so if the pulse width is much much less than tp then the pulse is defined as the narrow pulse if it is much much greater than tp delta t is much much greater than tp then we will call this a long pulse or broad pulse right so <coughs> now we will see so it is defined here delta t is much much greater than tp termed as a long pulse now case one i am taking the first narrow pulse right when the narrow pulse is propagating on the transmission line what will happen so i am taking the again <coughs> same the uh, circuit diagram source impedance and the transmission line part and the load part fine now uh, here the switch is closed at t equal to 0 and the pulse is transmitted See so, now <coughs> at this point now pulse is generated by the source and it appears at the input of the transmission line 
now at this point the input voltage and the current of the pulse will be can be defined as v in equal to generally v plus v in is same as the v plus now that is equal to by using the voltage division technique right by using the voltage division technique assume we have the source here okay and some impedance here and again another impedance here and this is the equivalent circuit at the source end vs zs this will be like z0 like we um, just earlier we discussed the equivalent circuit at the source end now at this point we need the voltage that v in or v plus both are same okay now by using the voltage division technique you can write v plus is equal to total voltage vs into the voltage where we are de determining the browse impedance that is z0 into by z0 plus zs right it's like v plus is equal to total voltage vs into the voltage where we are determining that impedance divided by total impedance z0 plus zs so that we define vs into z0 by z0 plus zs let equation number one now similarly the current of the pulse like the current will be defined from the voltage and uh, impedance is i is generally equal to v by z0 i is equal to v by z0 now from this <coughs> i can write i in or i plus equal to v plus by z0 okay now take this z0 this side which becomes vs by z0 plus zs then this is the voltage and current of the pulse which is generated by the source and uh, and up, that appears at the input of the transmission line when it appears at the input of the transmission line that voltage and current right <coughs> now the pulse start prop uh, propagating from source to load right now the pulse has reached the source uh, input of the transmission line from here to load it trans start propagating fine now now here again two cases will come if the load impedance right if the load impedance is not equal to the characteristic impedance or the line impedance then we can expect 